everybody. I'm Chris from the Sewing Channel Sojourns. Thank you for joining me today on the Love Notion Sewing Channel. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram under Sojourns, and I'm going to be linking those things for you in the description box. Also, you'll find in the description box the pattern that we're going to be working with, the Love Notions Laundry Day Tea Pattern. That's a free pattern that you can download when you join the Love Notion Sewing Group on Facebook. We're going to be working on a full bicep adjustment to the sleeve pattern. This is a much requested tutorial here at Love Notions and I'm really happy to be bringing it to you. There's just a couple of things we need to get started. First of all, you'll need to download and print the bodice and the sleeve pattern for the laundry day tee in your size. You would find your size for that by measuring your upper bust and your full bust. And there are directions in the pattern on how to choose your size. You're going to need a measuring tape. If you have a quilting ruler or a sewing gauge, that would be wonderful. Some tape, some extra scrap paper or tracing paper, your pattern of course, and a marker and a pencil. So let's get started bringing you the full bicep adjustment. To determine the size of your bicep adjustment, you'll need to measure your bicep at the fullest part of your bicep. Now that you've taken your bicep measurement and you've determined how much ease you want in your pattern or your sleeve, you're now going to measure your sleeve from seam allowance to seam allowance right here at the arm side, which is about 14 and eighth, 14 and a quarter. And then you're going to determine how much of a bicep adjustment you're going to make. All right, we're all set to make our full bicep adjustment. I've printed out and taped together the Laundry Day Tee long sleeve in a size extra large. You'll have whatever size you're working with. In the previous segment, we decided how much of a bicep adjustment we're going to make. I'm going to do a one inch adjustment on this pattern, which is really the most you're gonna want to do, maybe an inch and a quarter with this method. Uh, I will show you how to do it if, you're, if you need to do more. All right, the first thing we wanna do here, and I've already done this with my red Sharpie, is we're going to mark the stitching line. That is the seam allowance, which is 3 eighths of an inch all around the entire pattern. And then come down here and mark your hem allowance, which is one inch. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is make two lines. The first line is gonna run from the bottom to the top, directly in the center. So just fold your pattern together Draw the line from the bottom to the top, all the way. Next, we're going to draw a line perpendicular to that, right at the bottom of the arm side. Remember, we always work from stitching line to stitching line, from seam allowance to seam allowance. Line those two points up and draw a line perpendicular. This is the fullest part of your bicep. This is where we'll be making that adjustment to create volume. And I've already done this so it's easier on camera, but you're going to take your scissors, you can fold your pattern in half to try to get a start mark, or you can use rotary cutter that is set aside for paper. But you're going to cut your pattern on those lines we just drew. You're going to cut starting at the hem allowance up to but not through. You're gonna cut all the way up to but not through your seam allowance here. Come over here to this line, you're going to cut through up to, but not through the seam allowance and the same on this side. So we're creating, cutting our pattern to create some space. The next thing we have to do is create some hinge points. So you're going to come here on the outside. You're going to cut up to, but not through that seam allowance. You are only gonna have a 16th or an eighth of an inch here where it's not cut, because we've cut from both sides. If you cut through accidentally, no big deal, just tape it together. You're gonna to do the same thing here. You're gonna cut through to here. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So I've cut through here and I've cut through here. So I just have this small hinge on each of the four points, even the hem allowance. Okay, so in preparation for our bicep adjustment, I have taped a couple of pieces of paper together and I've lined them up here. I've taped it down on two corners. We have one central line and then since we're making a one inch bicep adjustment, I have marked a dashed line half an inch on each side of the center line that I made. And this is really important because we want to try to keep 
our pattern centered so everything remains lined up. Okay, I'm gonna slide my pattern over here that we've already prepped. And I'm going to look down here and see that I'm gonna to try to keep that right in the center. And I'm gonna just bring this down a little. We're just working in the first half of the pattern. And I'm gonna keep that right in the center. So to do that, I'm gonna grab my little pattern weight and I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit right there to see if I can keep it still. These hinge points we've created, when we try to make the volume, they will overlap and that's exactly what you want. So I'm gonna begin by spreading our pattern and allowing this to either go over or under. I think it naturally wants to go over most of the time. There we go. I'm going to spread this apart until I get both sides right at that dashed line that I made because we marked that for our one inch seam allowance. Let's see if I can get this to lie flat. There we go, right there and I'm going to tape it to hold it down. So now we've got our one inch volume. I'm gonna flip this back up. Sometimes it pops up if you haven't created more of a hinge, but now we have it. We're flat here, and I might need a little bit more hinge here. And then we're going to bring, allow this to come over. There we go. And we have our, bye. and now we're going to tape everything down so it stays nice and flat. Now what you can see is you have flattened out this head of your pattern, but we have not changed the length of this. So even though we flattened the sleeve cap because this is overlapped, this will still fit into your armhole because we have not changed the length here. We have not changed the side length down to our hem allowance, but because we have flattened this out, we have changed the center length, so we're going to fix that adjustment here. So we're almost through with our adjustment. We've created the volume, and now we just need to straighten up this bottom hem. We have shortened this center a little bit. So you're gonna put your scrap paper behind, and you'll see how it's come up here. So we're just gonna draw a line from hem corner to hem corner because those lengths haven't changed. Right here to bring in that extra length. What you'll do is you'll just tape that down, tape it over here, and now you will cut along that line and you'll need to straighten out your hem allowance as well. And you'll see that became a little bit curved. So you just straighten out your stitching line as well but that'll be taken care of because you've added the length back in here. So now your new laundry day tee sleeve should fit you beautifully. If you are going to make an adjustment on your short sleeve pattern, here I just traced it off. Remember your short sleeve pattern still comes at nearly the fullest part of your bicep. So the only difference you would do is you would cut all the way through the bottom. You don't need to mark the hem allowance. Cut all the way through the bottom, put your paper behind, tape it because you still need that fullness there because you're not tapering down to a long sleeve. Come back here. I mentioned earlier, if you need to do larger than an inch and a quarter maybe of a bicep adjustment, if you do a much larger adjustment, you will really be flattening out this sleeve cap and that may not fit into the armhole comfortably. So here's my suggestion. My suggestion is that if you need larger than that, an inch and a half or two inches, trace the arm side of the next largest size. So for this, it would be 2X. So take your 2X bodice and overlay it on your extra large bodice and trace the arm side for the 2X. Then you will use the corresponding sleeve. You will use the 2X sleeve and on the 2X sleeve, you will then make your adjustment. If you try to make a larger adjustment on this size, then you have to do a lot more calculations and do a lot more adjusting on your bodices. There you go. I hope that you get the fit that you're looking for and now you're equipped with your full bicep adjustment.